You gotta walk in. A defector. No one can sort out a nut job from the rail thing faster than you. Today, a Russian agent will travel to New York City to kill the president. This guy's selling smoke. Wrap it up, Ev. The name of the agent is Evelyn Salt. My name is Evelyn Salt. Then you are a Russian spy. I like spy stories, I like to watch documentaries on spies. I find it fascinating. Um, I've always been fascinated with spies. My dad was a military spy during the Second World War and I was brought up on stories of clandestine operations of sabotage. The idea of doing a kind of paranoid thriller was very exciting. Uh, and it was something that I hadn't seen for quite a while. What the hell are you doing, Evan? This doesn't look good. There's a tag team coming at you in 30 seconds. Get your panties off the camera and get where we can see so you don't get hurt. Call me when you find Mike. Okay, open the door about two feet. We're gonna gas her. One, go. It was just an unusual way that she would get out of situations. And then a lot of it was just her being creative, using her handcuffs as a weapon. In the action scenes in this film, what you see on the screen is absolutely possible because it really is performed by humans. There's no CGI, there's no trickery, it's all real and it's all performed by Angelina Jolie. CGI is just becoming a lazy director's tool. So I think the audience is starting to realize that it's not real and that's something that we wanted to reverse uh, in this film. Finding a place to shoot all of those uh, highway scenes was really was, I mean, I was, I was amazed that we got as much road as we got, and we got all those trucks and all that traffic. One of the things I love about looking at this film is, is how authentic it looks, is how, uh, I sort of wonder, how did they do that? She was doing her own stunts, you know, after quite a long and grueling sort of session, I could be exhausted and doing just a fraction of what she was doing. And, uh, and yet she'd be there for another take, and, uh, and at the same time sort of dealing with some of the frenzy and circus that kind of surrounds her when we were doing. I have, I've wanted to hide and she certainly wants to, so certainly on the streets of New York City there was an odd, an odd mesh of the two of us because I was uh, there and there was a lot of paparazzi and people and, and I was handcuffed and trying to be taken in by the police and she's going through something where she just wants everybody to leave her alone and she's being, and there's cameras in the movie filming her because she's become a, I guess, bad guy celebrity in the news world at the time, so there was an odd combination of too many people taking too many pictures of both of us and both of us feeling bad about it. <laughs> we all wanted to make a film that kept shape-shifting, where if we stopped the movie at any moment and challenged the audience to, with the question, what's going to happen next, that few of them would answer with the correct answer. But I think we've made a film that's very, you know, has, has a lot of the good things we like about all those films and the Bonds and the Bournes, but hopefully we found our own language as well. There's something else going on here. She was telling the truth. All hell's about to break loose.